Some people like to think they are clever and come up with various ways to deceive people, but they're not always the brightest. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground. Whether they're pretending to be someone else or devising schemes to bypass the system, their scams will eventually be exposed. Step out with your hands in the sky! Face away from me! Face away! Walk backwards to the sound of my voice! Here are some instances where law enforcement caught scammers in the act. Discover how a disastrous party night resulted in extreme drunkenness and questionable choices. But you can take my work times three. If, if, you know. No, I, I can't track anything you're saying right now. On December 8th, 2023, the Yankee Police Department responded to a call regarding public intoxication involving a suspect named Madeline in Iowa. Upon arrival, the police found that a woman was sleeping on the floor in the entrance of the building. When asked, the lady denied the usage of contraband. Yeah, she's up. She's up. Yeah, she's up. Oh, wake up for me. Watch out if she keeps it. Ma'am, wake up for me. Police department. Hello. You okay? What's your name? Mm hmm? So what's, going on with you? Up. what's going on with you? I need you to talk to me. Maybe sit up against the wall. There you go. Why don't you lean up against the wall there? Turn, turn around the other way. What's going on with you? You say you're drunk? Do you know where you're at right now? Yeah. Where are you at right now? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I can't really hear what you're saying. Whiskey House. Well you're, you, well, you're not at Whiskey River anymore. Whiskey House. Yeah, but it's worth it. But where are you at right now? Do you know where you're at right now? Whiskey House. Okay, well, no, we're at Lakeshore Apartments. Do you live here? Where do you live at? Do you live with anybody? Yes. What year were you born in? What's your birthday? You said, yeah. what room are you belong to? You talk to I, I have it. You have it? You say you live with her, right? I do, yes. Can you, can you, uh, are you? Uh, I'll help. Can, you, can we try and call her? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think you're in the text messages right now. Do you want me to call? Yes, please. Okay. You know, so I need is this your purse or purse? It's mine. Yours? Okay. Yes. Do you have an ID in here at all? No. No. She's not an ID. But you, you yeah, look through it, and right. and I'll get I'll get an idea for you. Okay. And then if you want an idea for your purse, like you get an idea for your purse, and then I'll get an idea That's for wacky. yours. Got you. Yours. You know. I don't. I have no idea what you're trying to tell me right now. Ma'am, what's your name? Madeline Mantel. Can you spell Madeline for me? M A D I L Y L Y N. Y N. Okay, Madeline. Yes. What's your last name? Mantel. He's L Y. He's not gonna get his full name. Okay. He's not fully licensed. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? December. What did you take? Um, I took a full license class. No, 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 no. no. What drugs did you take tonight? It's Madeline. Oh, none. None. Are you sure about yes, that? Yes, 100% because... 690 info. Because I can... Do, <coughs> I'm almost positive you probably took something tonight. Okay, that's fine. You, you can, you can take whatever, whatever you want. Like... No, no, no. no. She was questioned about some personal information and took a breath test. And the results showed that she was drunk over the legal limit. Technically, I do work at I get that. So, in between, the difference, the difference between whiskey mix is basically just has a different mixture. Okay, listen, so I have a PVC here, okay? Um, are you willing to take that? Yes. You are? Okay. Yep. Have you taken one of these before? Yep. Okay. Yep. Do you know how to do it? Yep. Okay. Do whatever you want me to do. Whatever pass your test. Yep. I'll do that. Well, it just... So are you coming from Yes. 
That's where you're coming from. Do you know what time it is now? Yes. It's a little bit later than that. It's about 5.15 right now. Oh, really? Yep. So, will you... Let it blow for me. Keep going, keep going. Hard, hard, hard. A little harder. Okay. So will you, you got charge? What's up? Will you upcharge for me? Okay, so let's just take care of this first. So yeah. when you yeah, blow, okay, right. you, you have to you have to blow it just a little bit harder, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright? Keep going, keep going, keep going. More air, more air, more, 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 more. There you go. Good job. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. So you're at 244. So you're just two right. uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's a point. Uh, point that's over two times limit for well, going over a bar, right? <clears throat> Please tell me you didn't drive here. How did you get here? <gasps> I did not drive here. His girlfriend's friend drove me here. Do you know who I'm talking about? Where's your mom? Call it. It's fine. I. Let's give your mom. Oh, you can stay. Stay. No, seated. it's okay. But we don't want you to fall. In. We don't want you to fall. You can stay seated. My mom's. Okay. Is it under? Is it, is, it, is it mom? Yes. Yes. That's mom. It's only That's under. Yes. It's okay. only under anything that would be. Here, just take a seat real quick. We'll call your mom. I'm just gonna talk to your mom real quick. Go ahead, sit down. Just be careful. I'm not taking your phone, I'm just going to talk to your mom, okay? Yeah, it's only other, like... My mom came to this location, like, a couple times, and then... Three or four times, and... Yeah. When you get a massage done, it's, like, very limited to... What you get done besides the massage, and then you get the massage, plus the therapy done, you know? And then it's, it's, it, it kind of throws you off a little. Okay. What do you do? I do massage therapy. Okay. Um, Here in town? Yes. In Anthony? Yes. Um, I kind of do anything that's brought to me before 11, 11 o'clock-ish. So anything that's brought to me before a license between 11 and Bosch. Do you want to sit yeah. down? No. Are you okay standing? I'm okay standing. Okay. Yes. I'm strong. Yeah. It was already pretty much broken off. I broke the door handle off when I opened it. Meanwhile, the suspect tried to move around and the officer stopped her. A cop was questioned about THC found in her purse and she denied consuming it. Oh yeah. Right. yeah oh, 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 be careful, be careful, don't fall. Yeah. Let's lean back up against the door. You're very, very tipsy. There you go. Are they all going to be falling down? Can you tell us you? Oh, yeah. 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 Y
no, it's it's honestly been a little bit since I worked there. So take minus times three. But you can take my work times three. If if you know. No, I I can't track anything you're saying right now. When you went to the was there a bar or just a frame time? Yeah, I, I agree. So, when you went to the was there a frame time or a time time? Like, you showed up here and then you went to this time or you came to this time so you were this time, you know? Okay. So, you were in the our frame time, or vice versa. You want to take a seat? Do you want me to text her? No, no, do you want to sit down? No, I'm okay. Okay. Tell you what, how about we just get out of this area? Um, like, this general <coughs> area here? Would you, would you yes. mind coming out and just sit, sit in our patrol car? Yeah, okay. and then, like, I'll, you I'll two, well, I don't want you to follow me in your patrol car. Yeah, yeah, I'll put you okay. have a seat in well, okay. Just walk slowly. We're yeah. really so, concerned about yes. you falling over this. No, hold this. yeah, Thank I, you. and then, like, y'all switch your call. We'll walk. Just, yeah. We'll walk to that car, but we'll follow the sidewalk. Okay. I don't want you falling. <laughs> Thank It'll you. Hurt. I Thank you, I appreciate <clears> that. But, if... Which vehicle did you like, guys come here in? Uh, not the second one for sure, but the third. This, the this third one's game. our vehicle. I, I believe the second yeah. one, one hundred percent. Right here, one second. But, whatever. What? Honestly, whatever. There you go. If you want to. Okay, perfect. Police discussed the other situation and asked the suspect about intoxication, and she mentioned that she could not remember about the incident. What's her condition? Oh, she's way... No, are they... Oh, yeah, she's... It's just one. She's... Are they not messed up? No, she's not messed up. No. Why would they just leave her in there? You mean her? There's only one person. Just her roommate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. She just said that they were trying to lift her name. Maybe she... You can tell she just woke up, too. Oh, she's... She's probably sleeping. Is she toasted? Because they, right? they were at... Whiskey River. <coughs> Whiskey crying. River? What? Yeah. She's crying. They were at Whiskey River. Um, she's way sober, like, she's sober, talking, she's normal. Can they get her out of a public place? The only place that they can go is here. She's on the, the phone right now with a friend who's in food. But all of their family is too far away. She has her parents, her parents, like the roommate's parents. That's the closest. But she hasn't contacted. Did you get her mom on the She's Yeah, she's high on marijuana. I was going to say, she took something. Yeah, and just standing in there, she's trying to fall over the place. Wait, we have a code. We can get in there. We can get into the room. Oh, we also can't get back in there because the handle's broken off. Did you do that? Yeah. I, I mean, I saw oh, a lady in distress. The the lady in distress. We can get into the Knox box. box on the other is, she end still, of is she still up confused? No, I'm going to talk to her. She's talking in percentages. Yeah, I know. It's rough. Madeline, are you doing okay? Yeah, but... Good. Can I turn on the light? What are you saying? Okay, Madeline, right now we're trying to... You're not able to get into your room, so we're trying to help with that. Or find someone who can help you. Stay with you, okay? Forget that I can uh, remember something. Yeah, yeah, you seem like you're but, pretty intoxicated. But I can remember in, intoxication. So... So, if someone books with me tonight, I'd, yeah. If I, they what? I understand. What do you understand? Intoxication. Okay. The, the three parts of the room that can happen tonight. What three parts of the room? The three parts of uh, intoxication, booking, non-booking, the cost of that. Right now, we're just trying to find you a safe place to be, okay? Right now, you're intoxicated in public. And that's not good. Oh, well, right, right now I'm intoxicated, yeah, in public, but I'm, yeah. okay, so I'm okay, but... We're trying to get, get you some help. Okay, so 
find is a, is a clinic though that will split their <coughs> tests, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, they're gonna be the a clinic all place that we're gonna take our facial clients that do not abundantly have health insurance, so they don't like have facials. They don't typically schedule clients, you know, but like. We all got, we're, we're going to have facial clients that have like facials, dry okay. skin, hydrated skin, oil, <coughs> blah, 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 blah. So we're going to have that. She's going to have clients that are just going to be regular but canceled. You and your roommate? Mm-hmm. <coughs> but no, cancel it completely. Okay. Why I think someone in jail is back here with me. Now I'm feeling crazy. Are you warm enough? Is it getting oh, better or worse? Little... Worse. So my concern that I brought up is I if that's that. friend and roommate, why does she ditch her? Your... No, that's what I said. Um, maintenance can't get here until eight o'clock. Right. They're trying to wake up an aunt in Johnston to see if they can come. The officers found out that because of lost keys, she could not go inside her room. The suspect was arrested because of public intoxication. Well, he said that she passed out and that she fell asleep. I can't imagine. Like, maybe she woke up feeling better, but... So, yeah, the question, it is... She's what? She's a tip. That's what. So it didn't have to be, that's why. There's a separate... Well, she She's might like, be I'm 20. Not she might be 20. Right. She didn't come I would love to. What is your last name? She spelt it wrong initially. Um, I want chat. Yeah. Be right back. Six ninety we're code six. Um what do you okay. wanna do? Well she's like loose like talking to people who aren't there. She thinks she's talking on the phone. Sounds like no one's coming for her. Um Yeah, ball, they have to ball wait one. Till, no one's, one's coming right now. No one's coming. She's an identifier. Yeah, she's an adult. <clears throat> what is her any plan idea with her? She's waiting here till eight hundred for maintenance to come let her in the building. How did she get in here? Somebody let her in. Or was letting her working out. She didn't say how she got. They were at Whiskey River. Um, did she say how they got separated? Yeah. So she passed out. She said she couldn't help her. So she came outside, called maintenance for a key. Dang. It got cold. They just waited in here. It's a good thing it's not any colder. Yeah, I know. Holy crap. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, are you hanging out right here with her? Yeah, I can. If you need me to transport something out, just put it on the car. Okay. Um, friend is, I think, just gonna camp out. Yeah. No, she's 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 more sober. I yeah. Mean, I'm not, it's a good thing it wasn't freezing outside. Yeah. Holy cow. She's very. She's been cooperative with us. It's... All right, Madeline, please come out. Yep. Walk to the front of that car, please. Right here. So, Madeline, I have to do a quick search of your yep. person. Do you have anything illegal nope. on you? Nope, you're okay. good. Do you have anything in your jacket? Nope, you're good. Okay. So, it doesn't look like there's anything really anywhere. I'm just going to check. Can you spread yep. your legs just a little bit? Yep, you're good. You can't think here. Do you have any pockets in this nope. jacket? Oh, no, no. Yeah, maybe okay, in this one them. front. Okay, nope, that's fine. I'm but otherwise, no. I'll check the other one. Yep. Okay. All right, can you please put your hands behind your back oh, for me? Okay, thank you. Um, I'm just gonna put... So, you There might be stuff in my car. Okay. Okay, okay one second. But my okay. apartment Madeline, is right there. <clears throat> Madeline, you're being placed under arrest. Okay. For public intox. Yep. Be taking you to Polk County Jail. Polk County Jail. Yep. 
Okay. And they'll get you taken care of from there. Can you give me... I'm checking the tightness and locking these. Yeah. So I can tell my parents or... Yeah, you'll be able to make a phone call. Okay. Okay. Madeline, do you want to take another preliminary breath test? Do you want to blow again? Preliminary breath no. test? No. Okay. <laughs> all right, we'll walk I this way. You, I just... I'm disappointed, obviously, in myself. It's all right. There you go. Okay. Do you want... Okay. Wait, okay. So can I just ask a question really quick? Yeah, yep. So I'm here right now, and then, like, my parents can come, but they can get, like... If my parents said, like, my daughter, blah, 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 they... Can I get a... We, can you get what? <laughs> I don't know, something not similar to, <laughs> obviously, a breathalyzer, but what, no, I'm what, not can following. I, what can I request, like, for them, like... You can request an independence. Independence? Yes. Okay. You have the right to do that. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's all I have the right yeah. to do, though? Yeah. Okay, yes, cool. That's on your expense. Your own expense. Only if they can see. Yes. Okay, cool. That's... Okay, awesome. That's okay. all I'm gonna expense. Thank you. Uh, yep, yep. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Miss Madeline was charged with public intoxication. Explore how the woman's elaborate target scam unravels as the cops close in, leading to her arrest and a mountain of charges. I don't want her to go jail. Well, we don't, we, we don't want her to, but the store wants her to be arrested for taking the things that she shouldn't have, and she knows better. On August 9th, 2024, officers were called to Target for a shoplifting incident involving a woman who was switching price tags to cheaper ones. When the officers arrived, they questioned Carla about her actions. She expressed distress, citing issues with her ex-husband and financial troubles as contributing factors. Hi, what's your name? My name's Deputy Rainey. Can I talk to you outside real quick? Okay. Do you have to talk to him about? So I'm gonna talk to you. What you did? You have your, do you have your ID on you? Do you know why you and mom are sitting in there? What? You don't know? So mom did something that she wasn't supposed to do. Now, before we talk, I'm just gonna read you something, okay? Do you know why you're in here? Yeah. Okay. Where'd you get that soda from? Uh, I got it from the church. My name is Deputy Fong, Clark County Sheriff's Office. Right. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. Okay, yep. and did mom, mom or dad buy it at the store? Um, I don't know if she buy it. Okay, so when you get something, when you come to a store like this, and you put stuff in your shopping cart, what are you supposed to do once you put it all in your cart? I, you didn't do anything wrong, just so you know. You're not in trouble. Soda, I put the soda next to her, but she forgot it was mine. So, okay, so what is going on tonight? Honestly, it goes a long way. Going through divorce. She's not have any money and didn't know what to do. Okay, so they have, like I said, they have camera footage Literally, of everything. I've so. been living in a house with no water. Okay. Nothing. Do you still have this on you? No, I don't have that on me. No? No. Okay. So they have you on, on, on camera swapping tags, price tags, yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. So the total amount that you should have paid was over $200. Yeah. Roughly. $200? Yeah. Because what? This, what they're scanning right now is at $189. What you. What? Well, just along that Lego set, it was almost $100. Oh my God. It's Okay. But when you come in and you take, when you go, did you ever go, have you ever been to the store with your mom before? And she puts everything in the car and then you go and then you pay for it, right? She's not paying for stuff that she's supposed to be paying for, which is- 25, 30 bucks and you put a new tag on it. How were you putting the tags on on that? I didn't put those tags on that. They were hanging in the clearance aisle. Okay. Are they, like I said, I got them, yeah. You didn't take any of the tags no, off the pants? No. What, were, what tags I, did you, you switch? the video, I'm in the clearance aisle all the time. What tags did you swap then? Just the um, sticky ones. Okay, how many items did you swap? Um, a folder, the Lego set. I told him that. The folder, the Lego set, and, and nothing. And then a bag didn't have a tag. Okay. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what the please price of that bag is. Please don't violate me, guys. Please. So. Oh, God, I, mean, I can't go to jail. You guys don't understand me. I don't want her to go jail. Well, we don't want her to, but the store wants her to be arrested for taking the things that she shouldn't have, and she knows better. And she'll probably tell you that, but unfortunately, she has to go to jail tonight, okay? And I don't, I'm sorry to have to tell you that, but she made a mistake, 
okay? But she knew the mistake that she was making, which makes it wrong, right? I'm, I'm going to talk it's with, I'm talking with, Friday. listen, I'm, I'm talking with Taylor. He's getting a total amount of what everything's going to throw. It's going to be up to them what they decide to do, okay? So until Can then. please make sure they take those, the ones I did not change those? Let me, let me talk to Taylor. She has to go to jail for that because she broke the law. And that's what our job is. And I'm really sorry that we have to take her, but like I said, she knows what she did was wrong. But she did it anyway. It's like you've done something. You did you get you got you've gotten in trouble with one of your parents or both of them when you did something that you shouldn't have, right? Why don't you step over here so these so you're not in the doorway, okay? I'll call him my dad. He's not going with his dad. We're going through a divorce right now. So where does dad live? I don't even know. He won't give me his address. Are you sure you don't want to find you? No, I promise you. Where is it then? Yeah, I lost it. Are you excited to go back to school? At that moment, the suspect's child expressed concern about being bullied at school, but the officers reassured him not to worry about it. Well, you know what you're supposed to do if somebody bullies you, right? Tell them you kids. That's not true. That's not true. We don't like that. We, you know we have deputies in every school, right? You tell a deputy, you tell that person to stop, to leave you alone, and then you tell a teacher or you tell the, the school deputy because they don't tolerate that, okay? That's not nice. And that shouldn't be happening to you because you're a nice boy, right? That shouldn't be happening to you. People shouldn't be mean to you. People shouldn't, nobody should be mean to each other, right? Why do they bully you? What do they say? You're fat. You are not fat. Know that. That's mean, right? That's real mean. But you know what? You're going to a new school now. So maybe you make new friends and you don't have that problem. But if you do, if somebody's mean to you, you tell them to stop it and you tell a teacher or you tell this, you tell any adult. You tell your mom, you tell your dad, you tell your grandfather, you tell anybody and everybody because that's not okay and we won't put up with it. Okay. Give me a pinky swear that you're going to tell somebody if somebody's mean to you, okay? All right, high five. Grandpa? Jackson. Jackson. Oh. So just so you understand what's going on, they they might not have pursued charges, but she's done this multiple times in this store. In this store? Yes. I don't understand. I gave her money to go. I get sleep aids and tea. I'm like, go to Dollar General. She's been doing this, yeah, apparently. Not. Okay. It has, no, it's not the, it has nothing to do with your soda, buddy, okay? But, and Grandpa will explain everything to you, okay? I already kind of gave him a speech on Mom made a mistake, but she knew it was wrong. I don't know where she gets it from. I left Dollar General two weeks ago with a tall pack of water and forgot all about it, so I went all the way back. They taught us I forgot to pay for this. And ladies looking at me like, and I said, I did it too for plastic utensils. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where so, she gets that. Um, but you're good to go to take him. All right, uh, because I'm like, get, bring him out. Yeah, I'm like, it's hey, almost every time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't trust her. <laughs> well, that's bad. Can we get the things that she did pay for to give to, to grandpa? What she, what she take medicine for? She has, uh, she takes Xanax. Uh, well, not Xanax, a Klozapan for depression. Okay. Not that she switched the markers. Um, so no, sorry. She'll get her money back, but she won't get the items. So, well, Maybe. if she's if she's on something, they they can look it up at the jail. She needs something. They'll be able to give her some sort of. Might not be exactly what she gets. It might be, but I don't know. She's but, got well, she's got my number. But I don't know how often she's gonna be able to use her cell phone there. She's not gonna be able to use her cell phone, but it, it, they'll let her use look up look up and her cell phone and phone number if she needs to call you, okay? Eventually, Carla displayed regret and frustration regarding her situation. The cops then recorded her troubled history and ongoing legal issues to proceed with the investigation. He did. He gave me $20 and then I just came here to see if they had my mom's sleep aids here. Why did you steal? Because I've been locked in my house for nine years with a husband who controlled me. What does that have to do with you stealing I stuff? I didn't have money or anything. What does so that have to do with you stealing stuff and setting a terrible example for your son? Ma'am, you don't have to tell me how to be a mother. I understand I'm that. not telling you how to be a mother. I said I you're setting a bad I made example. Mistake. I understand. Multiple times. Yes, you're right. You're 100% right. Thank you for admitting it. And I hope you didn't tell your son that you forgot to pay for it. I didn't tell him that. Okay. And you're really giving your husband, I don't know what's going on with your divorce. You said you're going through a divorce. You're giving him ammunition against you to get, 
possibly get your kids taken away from you. And your dad just said that you just got released for this, so the no, judges... I didn't. I just got released because I tapped a car and they violated me. Okay, well, you're on probation, and they guarantee you that the judge is probably going to violate you, and now you're stuck in jail. Why did you open up the wrapping if you weren't stealing it? I didn't. I ripped it in half. Why? I threw the other half. Why? Why not? Who cares? I don't get it. Why would you destroy the packaging? Why would you destroy the packaging? So you're setting an example for your son that he can walk around a store and just rip and open the packaging. I don't know if you heard what your dad said, but he says he doesn't want to go to storage with you because he doesn't trust that you're not going to steal anything. Huh? Give me back. Put your hands together like you're praying. Oh, two, two, three, five. Which? Have a seat while we check your purse. You okay with that? You got more money in here. Carpet. What's in it? THC. That's a felony. No, I have a med card. Where is it? It's not on me, but you can look up my name. Out of when you have something like that, you're required to have it with you. And you know that. I didn't know that, actually, because my ID always works in the dispensary. I don't have to bring my med card. I can bring my ID. Because they can look it up. But once you get it, you are legally required to have that at all times. Then <laughs> Yeah, I know. Pop sockets in there. So why did you lie about it? Because I felt stupid. <laughs> Because you were like, oh, we're again. You know, you can lose your medical marijuana license for not abiding by their laws, right? You should know that. It's your responsibility to know that. Just like having your driver's license. Why are you so mean? I'm not being mean. I'm being You're blunt and honest. Just because you don't like what I'm saying doesn't mean it's mean. I'm being mad. It's a, it's a statement of fact. I it's your responsibility. Mistake, I get it. I'm not being mean. I said it's your responsibility to, to suffer know that. the consequences, right? What? You have an EBT card. Yeah, there's something on it. Is charge you with this for not following the rules and your bye bye the medical marijuana card. Carla was charged with shoplifting items worth $100 to $749 and with scheming to defraud under $749. Now, witness the dramatic twist as a male and female's attempt to cash in on a fake check leads to them being cashed out by the police. All right, they're here. I got this, I got this. Agent Harris, anybody else need to ask Henry? On October 2nd, 2022, officers responded to a report from Walmart about Rocky and Arlene, who had just attempted to cash a fraudulent check in Las Cruces. When the officers located the suspects, they fled, initiating a pursuit with multiple officers involved. The police eventually apprehended and detained them using tactical methods. Yeah, I could make contact with her and she looks like the one in the picture. I mean, what they do with the check. We'll go up and find out. Oh, yeah. You want to go up there? Yeah, we'll go up there and find out. Marlene. 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 I got nothing but trespassers. If I get her in the unit, you want me to trespass her again? Yeah. Then you'll charge her? Yeah. Cool. I'll go on the round. Sorry, something What was that again? I figured, because I was going to go run to parents for my work right now. I found and I saw them come in with like a huge bag, and they, they stuck in, and they were like, you, you could just tell they've been running, because they were like out of breath. Thank you. In here, then, right? Yeah. Thank you. Heavy tattoos. Anybody run in there, blonde? A couple. I'm showing one out of the It's full expedition. Thank you. they're running across the street. They're too far from me. Back across the divot. Around here. Stop! Or I'm gonna tase you! I'm gonna tase you! And I got officers all the way around! Stop! Get through there, it's real quick. I'm running across behind gun. We're running most down. Stop! Stop! Get down. I'll have the male detained here shortly. The male individual wearing all black with the red hat went towards the sun country, 
near Griggs and Walnut. I got him 151 South Walnut. Central. Turn around. We're gonna use the dog again to just so you know. Stop! Shouldn't have ran in the first place. Yeah, he's smoking, just walking around. Let's stay off the air for now. We got officers in there trying to detain him. Get over here! Get over here! Relax. Yeah, it looks like he's trapped in there. He's just walking around. Get up and I'll get it. I got him over here. The police discovered stolen items among the suspect's belongings, which led to additional charges being filed against them. She decided to take 90. off. I'm sorry? Of 90. Of 90? Do you know his social? No. How old is he? 32. 32? She decided to take off running from us. She just collapsed trying to catch her breath. She didn't collapse, collapse. She just. Maybe you can just do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll check Overall, check on her. <laughs> Alright, Miss Cardone. Okay. We're gonna need you to get up and we're gonna walk up to this car, okay? Alright. Do you have anything on you that I may have missed? No. You know if you go over with any contraband or any weapons to the detention center at the felony, correct? Uh not with us right now. Okay. Take a seat. Oh, can you turn the air off? Do what? Yeah, right now. Yeah. Just take a seat. <clears throat> Walmart. Alright, we'll put your seatbelt on. Face to the left. I think it was white. I want to say it was white. Okay, thank you. You're not listening to the commands. What do you mean? What are you, what are you doing? Do you heard us call you? Because you know my. Do you want me to too? check his pocket? Here? Just like David and Walnut. You listen to your commands. What's your command? Take fire 55 data for both locations. I am at 151 South Walnut. What's your name? Right next to your apartment uh, building B. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you going to get up? He's going to come up. What's your name? Damn. Yep. Oh, ready? Yeah. 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 Who has the, the bag of the property? I don't know of anybody. We don't. We don't have a bag yet. I thought somebody said there was, was it? No, that we're just saying what the description is. Katie's out there looking for it. There's somebody else looking for it. They came through this way, right, LT? Yeah. I'll walk back through. Okay. I thought they still had the bag here. What is that there? That's it. Yeah, this is the only thing I saw him with. We got the back. 
So as of right now, we're just gonna book her on the 40s and on the crimp side for shoplifting and. We don't know if she's shoplifting yet. Oh, okay. No, these look new, so. Yeah. Eventually, the officers took the suspects to the station and then uncovered the stolen checks from the victim's mailbox. So she put your name <coughs> and because she got the check, so that's what she was doing. Mm -hmm. and so you don't know Arlene Cross is or Arlene Cross. No, she's really lucky I don't. Okay. And so you do want me to file charges mm -hmm. on her yep. for her. Okay. And so that means she took out everybody's mail because there's five people's mail. Because More than likely, yes, but I don't know. I, I can't prove. Tell your sisters, you can tell everybody that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, my suggestion is go get a mailbox. I know they're okay. kind of expensive, but they'll prevent this, especially if you're going to be getting checks regularly. I didn't even know about these. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't I'll even make know. you a copy then of that. Yeah. Right, she intercepted the letter. Yeah, and so what they do now is there's a thing called informed delivery. So you sign up for it, and then you put your address in, and then the post office emails you a snapshot of the mail you're getting. Oh, cool. All right. And so um, she's known to do that, and so she'll wait out there for the delivery and then go and take them out of the mail. So this ain't even the first time. <laughs> yeah, and so identity theft is weird in the state. And, and now she had used your date of birth and anything else besides just your name and uh, address. I could get her for the actual identity theft, but you have to use like a personal identification number, like your social or your driver's license or something like that. In, in so what addition is this? to the Penny name. Theft? No, this is forgery. <laughs> this is a forgery issue. Rocky and Arlene were charged with resisting arrest, fraud of $250 to $500, and contempt of court. Get ready to watch as this Tinder scam couple's joyride in a stolen car ends with the female's arrest, turning their romance into a real life criminal drama. Keep walking to your right, slowly, 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 keep walking to your right. In 2024, while in routine patrol, officers spotted a couple in a stolen car and pulled them over on a busy freeway in West Des Moines to investigate further. As the officers approached the suspect's car for an inquiry, the suspect disregarded their commands, compelling the cops to act decisively. Do you have commands? Yeah, I got commands. Right. Is it just one occupant? Okay. Is it just one? Yeah. Okay. Driver! Hands out the window! Both hands out the window! From the outside, open your door! From the outside, open your door! Unlock the door! Step out with your hands in the sky! Face away from me! Face away! 
Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Keep walking. Keep walking. I'm going to bring her down the middle lane. Stop. Step to your right. To your right. Keep walking. Keep walking. Will you take commands over there and walk her back? Keep walking to your right, slowly, 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 keep walking to your right. Pull up the back of your shirt so we can see your right there. I'm going to hold car. There's another officer coming, have them cuff. Keep your hands in front of your face, hands in front of your face. Connor, can you cut? I'll hold car. Anybody else in the vehicle? Your boyfriend? Okay. What's his name? Paul. Huh? Paul. 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 We'll talk about it in a minute. Passenger! Step out of the vehicle! The you want to hold no transition rifle? Yeah. Step back. I'm going to rifle transition real quick. <laughs> Do we have two behind me? Yep. Okay, moving. When the police located the suspect's car and conducted a search, they discovered illegal substances, which increased their suspicions. Mike, you're good. I can see in the back. We're secure. down this and then we can play with it. This vehicle secured to detained. You can release the channel. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Um, do we know who the registered owner is? Or it has uh, the phone number and the trip of okay. who the RO is. Do you want to call them quick? Can I just make sure they're giving us a good home repair? That's fine. Really I, smelled, I smelled weed too, so yeah, we got PC that way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to run the VIN really quick, let them do that process. Okay. I'm wondering if this is the first one. 
because they've got. It smells like we're burning smells material like compared to vape. In my humble. It does. There's like stems and stuff all over the place. I did, I didn't see anything. Yeah, we're finished here. You don't need bags or anything? I found no. this in her purse. Just some bugs. No. Yeah, I mean, there's just a bunch of shake and stuff all over the rest of the car, so. As of now, I read her, Miranda. She's saying that she got the car from a dude named Jay that she met off of Tinder. Uh, she made a comment about possibly him giving her the car based off of finessing. And she got it this morning at about 8 a.m. Okay. So that's kind of where it was at. I just put her in my coffin now to see if you need help up here. Okay. I'll see. I'll try seeing what she means by finessing. So, all right. Thank you. Um, yeah, you can just put that on my car if you want. Oh. But I'll see you back. Has anybody talked to mail? Yeah. Yeah. Paul is on paper for theft second okay. and bird third okay. with her. He's the same person because he was caught in a stolen vehicle before. Say that again? He was caught in a stolen vehicle before. Okay. I haven't I haven't asked him about this car at all yet. Okay. I haven't Mirandized him yet either. Okay. Whose car is he in? Uh, he's in 511. How we haven't yeah. found one. Well, uh, she had a bag of shake in her purse, so oh, he found okay. it. So that would be okay. probably it. Probably dumped it off. Yeah. <laughs> would you at least just meet, read him Miranda? Yep. And then I'll come chat with him yep. in a little bit. So. The police questioned the suspect about the illegal substances found in her car, but she claimed that it was for her medication and made excuses to deflect the situation. Sure. Uh, just clarifying with her, she was telling me that the guy's name is J, just the letter. Okay. On Tinder. She met him at a McDonald's on the south side this morning at about 8 a.m. No, okay. at the McDonald's. Like, that's the closest to Okay. Okay. Oh, I'll watch that. Okay. So, McDonald's this morning at 8? Yeah. On our okay. Road. okay. How? So, you met this dude today on Tinder? You had matched before? Or what I was like? I matched him before. Okay. I've been talking to him for a little while. For a little while. Right. Okay. And he said that he was going to give me some money because I'm homeless right now. Okay. Um, so he said he was going to give me some money for a hotel, and I said, well, I have an interview today, like, and I have a couple, like, things I need to do. If I could get, like, a rental car, that would be Yeah. And he said, well, I have an extra vehicle you could use for, like, the day if needed, whatever, and you can just bring it back in the morning. Okay. So I was supposed to bring it back in the morning, and then all this happened, so. Okay. Uh, so... This this J guy. How long have you guys been talking? I know you said you know him for a while, but no, not a while. Like maybe no more than a week, maybe five days. No more than a week. And you guys, are you texting? Are you snapping? Or is it Tinder or what? Just texting on Tinder. Okay. Do you have I, your phone I, with you? Yeah, I do. Does it show the messages on Tinder? I can look. Okay. Is it in here? Yeah. Can I get it out for you? Go ahead. I know it's a little bit harder with. Yeah. Okay. This this phone right here. Yep. Thirty-four ninety-four. Look, I won't lose that. What's up with the weed in your purse? I smoke weed. Huh? I smoke weed. Why? You can't do I, that. Um, uh, I had permission to do that until I'm on my me mental medication. Do you want me to swipe up? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. No, you're good. Um, Where are you? Swipe up again. Okay. I don't have service, so it might not load. Okay. Go to Tinder. Okay. Okay, hit okay. Yeah. Hit okay. I know because I don't have service. Okay. Right. And I don't have him on anything else other than Tinder, so. Okay. Anything else you want to try or no? I don't have him on anything else. Okay. So, got got the car this morning at 8. He just said, yeah, you can use it. Like, what? He said, just bring it back in the morning, drop it off, and put the key in the gas tank. Okay. So, is it normal for you just to ask dudes that you've known for a week to, like, ride in their car? No, yeah? Not, not ride in the car. I mean, he was giving it to me, like, to help me out for the day, you know. I said I needed to do stuff. Okay. And instead of 
me sleeping outside, I could have just slept in the car. Okay. You're welcome. Who, who's this other guy that's with you? My boyfriend. Oh, your boyfriend? I've been with him for like three years. I've... So, you got a boyfriend, but you're also on Tinder? It's it's just to make money. It's just to do like stuff like that. It's not like... Well, I, I'm not familiar with this. That's why I'm asking. It just... Because... I, I don't know much I'm about a, it. I'm in a re uh, dedicated relationship with the man that was in the car today. The people that I text on Tinder, and he's aware of it, okay. are just people to, like, get extra money from. Like, I'm homeless. I don't have a job right now. I just recently got out of jail. I'm on probation. I've just went through the situation. What did you get arrested for? For stealing from stuff from Walmart and a whole bunch of other stuff. When was this? This was literally, I got out of jail in January 16th. January 16th. You're stealing stuff from Walmart? Okay. And then I have an assault, and um, I, I don't even know the other charges, but I have three other misdemeanors. Okay. Are you a felon? I have, like, four felonies, but I have a um, deferred judgment on them. Go ahead. Go ahead. So what'd you, get, what'd you get felonies for? I don't even know the exact charges that I have felonies for. Okay. Oh, like, uh, thank you. Copy, thank you. Um, so you just stole a bunch of stuff, and that's how you got a felony from Walmart, but you're also not completely aware of it? No, I'm not completely aware of the exact charges because there was like 10 charges on it. Right, I was gonna say, well, normally when you get charged with felony, is they're pretty serious, so I feel yeah, like I you should know what that is. Well, I was also in. I, I was in jail for four months. Before I went to jail, I was on drugs very bad. It's not really changed that much. I mean, I'm not on drugs right now. I've, I've smoked weed. You know, I, I was on perks and coke before I was in jail. Like, I was going through a lot. I'm still going through a lot. I'm homeless. I didn't intend to steal a vehicle. I, I reached out to a friend for some help. And, now I'm in a situation that I was just in six months ago. Okay. So what do you mean you're in a situation you're in six months ago? What's that mean? I was just in this exact situation six months ago. I I don't know what that I, means. I haven't met you before. I went to jail. Ever. For what? For stealing six months ago. For stealing? Is that from Walmart? I have a. I don't know the exact charge, but it went down from. Why did you get arrested? I what got, happened? I what got, did you steal? I I was arrested five different times. I was arrested from stealing a cup of ice. I was arrested from stealing from the police spoke with the suspect's boyfriend to gain insight into the situation. He said he wasn't involved and that the suspect had told him the car belonged to a friend. Um, I was arrested with him with, in a stolen car. A stolen car. And now again, we're in a stolen car. Correct, but this is not the same situation. Well, you just said this is the same exact I, situation, um, but you got arrested six months ago right, for a stolen car. I'm, so it doesn't make you, sense. You, you know, I'm, yes, right, it doesn't make sense. I'm in this, I'm getting accused of, last time I did steal a car. This time, I had no intentions of stealing a car. I reached out to a friend to get help. That's all I did. I literally slept out in a laundry room last night. Okay. So... I, who uh who picked the car up? Was it just I, you? Was he with you? No, I picked him up afterwards. Afterwards, what time was that? I can look at my phone and see what time I called. Oh, it's just rough. Eight, eight, nine. Eight or nine? Where'd you pick him up from? His, his house. His house? Where does he live? Uh, around the, the meadows. I'm sorry. The meadows. So you picked your boyfriend up around eight or nine at the meadows after you pick up the vehicle from just Jay guy on Tinder? Mm -hmm. Okay. But six months ago, I arrested for a similar situation, but this one's different because you didn't steal the car. You didn't mean to steal the car Correct. this time. Correct. All right. I'm going to talk to him and see what's going on, okay? All right. Sounds great. Where is he at? Right here. And his name is Paul? Paul. Hi, Paul. Paul. That's, that's what we're going to figure out. We're going to figure out what's going on. So, I'm Officer Span. Who is this other female that's with you? It's my girlfriend. It's your girlfriend? Okay. And how long you known her? Or how long you have been dating, I guess? Well, on and off, about a couple years. I'm, not I'm, I'm sorry, it's loud out here. On, on and off, a couple years. On and off. I've known her for about three years, though. Okay, gotcha. Whose car is this? 
So basically, she had told me she had gotten it from a friend. Okay. I work at Popeyes, like that's old boss over there. Uh huh. That's what the uh, the bags for. You yeah. just got it from Popeyes. Okay. Yeah, cheese and yeah I hear you. I was like, that mac and cheese looks real good. Yeah, yeah. I just got off of work, and um, you know, we had, well, we had tried to start on my home because he had said he, he had said that he needed, he had gotten some at a at a friend's, and he was wondering if we could help him out. And by the time we get over there, like, okay. Yeah, now we only got a quarter of gas. Okay. I was just supposed to drop me off at home. That's the only reason, you know what? Where, where's where. home at? South side. Oh, south side, Des Moines. You know, down, down by, uh, by Easter Lake. By where? Easter Lake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's So that's where you're heading? Okay. Yes, how long has, what, what's her name again? Malay. Malay, how long has this car? Well, so basically, like, she had texted me, and, like, I don't know, like, today, I, she doesn't have. She like I, I peep on her social media, but I haven't had service on my phone okay. since a couple of days, and I've been the only way I've been getting contact to her, contact with her is through text, and she offered me a ride okay. like, back home from work, like because I had to call my mom. My mom asked, "Oh, are you gonna get you from work?" I'm like, "No," and I didn't tell her who because my mom doesn't necessarily like her because we have been on uh, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, okay. and uh, but I said, "Yeah, mom, I have a ride." So she just picked you up today, uh, like right. Got- like 30 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Um, and she picked you up and then y'all went where? We headed west. West? Like from Des Moines? You just yeah, went west? We from Popeyes to over here to the west side. Kind of like, you know, by, kind of by Hunter Creek where y'all got behind. Okay. The first car got behind us. So is it normal for her just to be driving different cars or what's kind of the deal with that? She has her own car. She's been in the pound, in the impound. She has to pay 3500 to get it out. Ooh, damn. Okay. It's like her situation is just real tight right now. Her um, her dad was in the hospital, um, with broken ribs, and she's not in good relations. With her. She's not in good relations with who? I'm sorry, father. With her father, and okay. that's the one who she who she stayed with. Okay, so it, what it sounds like is she said y'all got in trouble before. Yeah, she, we, what? she's my. Yeah, I'm on probation. Okay, and she's uh, she's my like on one because I have two. Kate, like two, like things I'm in trouble for one out of one okay. county. One okay. Out of Coke, but they combined with them and just put my probation through Coke County. So I'm okay. Allowed. What What was it for? Uh, like uh, like I told boss, it was a second theft. A second theft? Yeah. Like theft I, second or the second time you got arrested? No, no, no uh, theft second because theft I, second. I was found. And and, and it, that's these charges are getting lowered. Like these 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 charges, like there's a reason I'm on probation now. Okay. Was, like the. Uh, like these charges got dropped to, like, because uh, it was a joyride. Right? Because I was a passenger of the vehicle, and I, I, I hadn't known it was a stolen car. Okay. Did he tell you that this one's stolen? No. Oh, well, this this one's stolen. No, this. That's that's why you got stolen. helicopters like this. Yeah, no, no. I, I I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was a little. This is the first time. I, I'm usually not nervous. Even as you're a man, I'm not nervous when it comes to. Sorry, that's semi super loud. Say that one more time. Um, me, even me as a black man, I'm not nervous when it comes to police. My okay. Mom, my mom has a home daycare. She that's works good. for DHS. And it's, it's... So y'all got arrested for a similar thing for theft for being in a stolen car. She told I... me this was her friend's car. And like, she said she had, she said she had permission to drive. And so I was just when like, was that? When, before, before she had picked me up. When, like, did she text you? Yeah. You got your phone? I had my, yeah, no, I had my, no, it was over the phone call. I, I had a, call uh, a phone call. Phone. Do you have that phone receipt? Are you able to show me that? Uh, if my phone is on, I can. Okay. I can Where is it? Is it up in the car? Or is it in your pocket? Boss had it. The officers questioned the suspect again to unravel the situation, but her statements only served to complicate the case further. All right, hello again. So what time you pick him up from work? From work? Yeah. Around 9 o'clock. 9 what? A.M. or P.M.? 9.30 p.m. P.m.? Where'd you pick him up at? Where were y'all going to? To his friend's house to drop off a phone. Okay, what's the friend's name? Uh, Israel or Deuce. He Israel or Deuce? Which he one? Goes by two, he goes by two names. Okay, so why'd y'all come out here after Popeyes? To give his friend his phone. Okay, and then just take him back to wherever his home is? Yeah. At Fair Meadows, Fair Banks? Yeah. What'd you say? The Meadows on the south side? The Meadows, excuse me, yeah. Fair Meadows is cool. Um, okay. And you said you got this car from a dude you met on Tinder? Yeah, his name is Jay. His name is Jay, but we can't pull it up because we ain't got reception. Right. You ain't got no text or anything else like that? I don't All right. Know what, else I what did you tell uh, Paula about the vehicle? What did you tell him? I, 
I told him I picked it up this morning and I didn't tell him anything else about it. Okay, how'd you tell him? How'd you tell him? Over the phone. Over the phone? When was that? About 9 o'clock. Around 9 o'clock? No, 8 o'clock. 8, 8 o'clock. Before, right before my interview. When was your interview? 8 o'clock this morning. 8 o'clock. Eight, so, so you My interview him. was at 8 o'clock. I told him. I called him right before. Sorry, the semi's a lot. So you called him at 8 a.m. this morning and told him that you had the car? Correct. Okay. And I picked him up shortly after. At 8 a.m.? Yes. Not p.m.? Both. I dropped him off. Okay, sorry, the eights are getting confused. Both. So, so had... I picked him up earlier and I dropped him off so he could go get ready for work after we hung out In this, this car? Yes. Okay. I've had the car all day. Okay. And then I went and did what I needed to do. Um, I went back to his work and I sat at his work until he got off. For like how long? That's like a lot of time. Hours. I, they know I'm homeless, so. So what'd you do if your interview's at eight? Say it takes an hour, nine. From we nine. Picked up, we picked up the guy that we just went to go see with okay. his phone. That's why we had his phone okay. to go drop it off. Okay. We were with him and another one of our friends this morning. Well, that's a long. That's a long time. That's like 12 hours of unaccounted time. I get we're doing that and dropping phones off, but like. We going from Des Moines to West Des Moines and I, playing with phones. I've had the, I told you guys that I've had the phone or the car since seven this morning. I hear you. I'm just saying that's a lot of unaccounted time during yes. the day where you have. Do you want me to watch you know, it for my whole day? Well, yeah, that helps. Okay, yeah, of course. Uh, I dropped him off at home. I went and did what I needed to do. I went and got food. Um, like that's what I mean by do what I needed to do. I went okay. got food. I went to my appointment and then I went. To RB, well, Arby's and got food right next to Popeyes. I walked over to Popeyes around five o'clock. Okay. Um, the car's parked in the parking lot. Okay. At this point, and I just sit in the inside, watch Netflix on my phone until he gets off work. We go to McDonald's for Wi-Fi because we neither of us have the service. Okay. Um, we get a hold of our friend that didn't have a phone. Go drop his phone off, and okay. now we're here. Okay. Sounds good. I'll be right back. I know you got off work at 8, but what time did you get to work this morning? One more time? You start your shift at 5 p.m.? P oh, so you start your shift at 5 p.m.? Yes, sir. So you work, what, 5 to 8? Uh, today I work. Or 5 to 9, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was supposed to get off at 9, but I asked her if I could work extra 30 What did you do before work? I was at home. You were at home? Over there the whole day? Mom me off. Your mom dropped you off at work today? Yes, sir. And that was at 5-ish? Uh, I got to work at around like 4.55. P.M.? A early. P.M.? Yeah. Okay. Got you. And what were you doing before that? Were you hanging out with her or were you hanging out with mom? Yeah. Or were you just at I home? at the house. The whole day? Uh, yeah, I was, last night I didn't get out okay. You know your mom's number off the top of your head? Uh. Like I can call and ask her and she's like, yeah, you at the house all day? I was at the house. Yeah, yeah. She can confirm it? Yeah. She, all right. She, there's a chance. I know you, she still got a daycare and stuff like yeah. that. So I ain't trying to wake her up, but all right. All right. So, do we want to be true? I am being truthful. No, we're not. Yes, I am. How'd, how'd Paul get to work? His mom. You said you took him to work. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I you said, said, I, said I, I said I took him home so he could get dressed for nah, work. No, you told me that you took him to work No, today. I didn't. Yes, you it's did. It's all on camera, on your yep. body cam. I know. I did so, not just tell you. I said I you went did. and did my own thing. You I said, said you I dropped him off. Go well, do all your like own thing, and then you went, you walked around, and then you spent some time in the pop guys because they know you're homeless. And you watch Netflix, at and after Netflix, at you picked him up. No, his mom off at five o'clock at Popeyes. I, yeah. I did not tell you okay. that his mom well, dropped him off. I did not tell you that I did. Okay. I'm not, I'm not here to play games. I'm not I'm here not to play. Either. I gotcha. I'm telling this you, this is my life that I'm talking about. Okay. So here, here's the problem. We're, we're getting discrepancies between the two stories about how we came into possession of the vehicle. And I hear you. So what I'm trying to do is get the truth so we can stop wasting everybody's time and we can just I'm move forward. I'm telling you 100% the truth. Whatever he is telling you, he doesn't know the story because he doesn't know that I well, talked to the Tinder dude. I'm just saying the things he's saying about his day is not matching up with what you're saying about your day. So where he's saying he's getting to and from, if you guys have talked, or where he was hanging out before, he's telling a different story than what you're telling me back here. Well, so okay. I. No, I, I, I hear you 100%. So that's where I'm trying to say, like, hey, what's up? Then I hear you 100%. And that's really shitty on his part that he's not telling you the truth. Okay. And that really pisses me off because I'm telling you the outright truth.
At that point, the suspect argued her innocence with the officers, but they made it clear that she was involved in the case. Doesn't tell the truth on well, what I, me and him did today, then he's, we are going to so jail. What, so why would he go to jail? Because we're both in a stolen vehicle. I, so what, what is that? I don't understand how he would get arrested for that. The last time we were both arrested, I wasn't even in the vehicle. You weren't in the just, vehicle? No, I was just with him. So how's that work? You were just I was at a him? gas station. Okay. And I got arrested too. This involves him too. Okay. If he's if I'm getting accused of stolen stealing a car and I got it from a friend and I picked him up afterwards, we're okay. both getting caught in a stolen car. Well you're telling me that you picked up the vehicle from this J guy and Correct. he didn't and have anything got, to do with it. No, he didn't. And you just told him it was from a friend and you just said you were taking him to work and that was it. Or you picked him up from I work. Pick, I picked him up this morning and I took him to work. Or I picked him up from work, sorry, I apologize. Well that's that's where we're getting the discrepancy. Yeah. You've told me now again for the second time you no, picked him up to take no, him to work. No, no. I'm, do you see? Do you I see just, where I'm getting I, that I'm, from, though? Yes. You told me it's all on camera because the thing you just said, I I heard you say it earlier. No, I do not understand what anxiety does to a person when you are. Oh, I do. I'm in very a high anxiety conf or in a, a situation in a high anxiety situation, and I'm not on anxiety medicine at all whatsoever. And I was just in this situation, and I'm getting accused of lying when I'm actually telling the truth. Okay. That's so what is I'm, killing I'm me because I sleep outside anyway. I'm if I go to jail, lying. at least I have a roof over I'm, my I'm head. telling you, I have two different people telling two different stories. And I hear you. Your, and <laughs> your story's changed up already while we've been talking That's about. That's okay. I apologize. I, I'll let you know. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not here to like play games or lie Neither or like pull it. Like, I'm just telling you like it is I've from the outside. I've about four different cops in my story. But, all of them is the then, same. Over with this guy, you're saying you're the only one who picked up the car. You got it from Dre, this guy you've known from a week off of Tinder. I mean, he has he has nothing to do with picking up the vehicle. You right. just said you, you were offering him a ride. So why would he get charged He's with... He's my boyfriend. He was with me all day. What do you mean he was with you all day? Like when? The only hours he was... Or he was with me even when he was at work. I was at work with him. He was with me all day from 7 a.m. to now. Well then, I thought... Other than from two... Other than from three to five when he was at his house getting ready for work, that's the only time that so I was So, from, from, from 7 a.m., but then when when's the gap? Did you get I, the car before seven no, or after seven? Right, right, like around seven, from seven to 7.30, I got the car. So, was he with you or was he not with no. you when you picked up the vehicle? No, he I was wasn't? alone. You were alone. Okay, yes. I just wanted to make sure. So, from seven until about two, and then from two to three, you changed clothes? So, from, yes. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure. No. From three to five, he went home, changed clothes, took a nap, was at his mom's house. His mom took him to work. Okay. I was with him from about 8.30 when I picked him up to about three o'clock. And then I was with him from five o'clock at his work. He was working from five to 9.30. We left his work at 9.30 and came over to the side of town. Yeah, 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 to hang out with, hang out with Israel, Israel. Israel. Or yeah, yeah, to do the phone thing. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's where the discrepancy's at. Because right. you know what he's saying? He said, I can call his mom. And his mom would say, he's been at his house all day and you ain't been around. He said, the only time you were around is after work. That's what he's saying. Well, that's a lie. You can I, call his mom. I'm, I'm, call just, his mom. I'm just saying that's that's what we got. So I'm, I'm not saying. It's back to the same thing I said before. I got two different stories. Tell him he's not going to get in trouble for telling the truth I'm, that he was with me this morning. So that's... That's where I'm back to. We got two different people not telling the truth. He's not saying he was around the vehicle. You're saying he had nothing to do with the vehicle. He, you were the only one that picked the car up at 7 a.m. this morning, or maybe slightly before, slightly after, somewhere in that seven o'clock time okay. frame from Jay. So you're the only person that got possession of the vehicle and got access to the vehicle. He just got a ride. Yeah. So why would he get charged with that? He just, I, I'm not trying to get him charged. He can go oh. home. I well, you had just said, well, this isn't fair because the last time it happened, he should get charged because he's involved. No, he's no in we both got charged. Okay. We yeah, both yeah, yeah. did get charged. I'm talking about right That's now. That's why though. I was confused. No. I'm not. I, I would he, gladly, I would gladly take, all, even, even if I did steal the vehicle, I would gladly take all the charges over him going to jail. Well, I don't want him to get in that's trouble. That's very noble of you. I don't want I'm him to get in trouble at all. I'm just trying to figure all. it out. But I did not steal this vehicle. Okay.
When the suspect's crime came to light, the police placed her under arrest and took her to the station to face the repercussions. I would have <laughs> yeah, you, these cars do really good for the rear-end collisions. Sorry, I think I have so a that's, that's where we're at, okay? Yeah, I hear you. So I'm going to run up by my boss, but what we're looking at is probably the theft, possession of stolen property, and then the weed, okay? Well, can you tell him he's not going to get in trouble for telling the truth about him being with me well, this morning? I, that's and I it's can, all on camera. Okay. He has cameras at his house. Okay. Well, the other the other problem I have is your your story about meeting Jay and just all of a sudden getting a car and driving it around. Yeah. That, I hear you. I hear you. I'll deal with the consequences either way. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, I hope that he gets to go home. That's okay. all I hope for. Because I know you said you got stuff, but like I ain't got no messages. And even if you did, I mean, like that that just seems weird. Yeah, I hear you. You just randomly you get a car from a dude. Live, so I no, I I get that. I've been in this situation where I talk to people like this. I get people falling hard times, but all things considered, and all the situations we got going on, it it just don't make sense. Right, and I hear you. Okay, all right, I'll be back. So, you have her saying that she's been with him all day, dropped him off between three and five so he could change, then mom took him to work. He's saying he ain't been with her until after work for the entire day. She says she got the vehicle from a dude named Jay on Tinder and has known him for about a week and just loaned her the car. Can't pull up Tinder, can't pull up the messages or anything like that. Brought up the story, confronted it. She's like, well, I'm not lying. It's all on camera, they can check it. Like, he can be free. Like, I'll take all the charges. I'm like, well, that's very noble of you, but like, that's not how it's working. But, so, I told her, I was like, you're gonna eat theft second and yeah. possession of MJ, so. She's going? Yes, yeah. she'll go. I'm gonna look at her CCH and see what it is, but sh they'll go out to... What are we doing with him? Dallas County. Uh, I honestly have nothing on him. Okay. I'll start working on rides. Yeah, yeah. I can get, get this phone back. I can get him up. Are we gonna take him out of cuffs? Um, yeah, did we go through his pockets and stuff? Did he have anything on him? No? no? We didn't go through his pockets? I did. Okay. Yeah, I searched. Yeah, I'm cool with that then. Did we work anything for this yeah, vehicle? Yeah, on the way out. Excellent. From Newton or from Des Moines? Uh, south side of Des Moines. Excellent. Okay. I will start typing, and then I'll see whenever I'm done. I'll see if I can transport her. I might need someone to put her up to Dallas. Yeah. So, I'm going to start typing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We can move my car. Okay. Uh, I glanced at it. I didn't see anything. I did a property sheet. It's in your bag. Sweet. With the marijuana. Okay. So, um, you, want to, you want me to switch her to your car? Yeah, we can have her sit in my car. That way you at least out of here. Can I say goodbye to him before we leave Just tonight? Face towards for me. The what? Just right here. Oh. I'm gonna remove this purse from you, okay? That's fine. Is there like a, a clap? Like no. Just unhook. There's no. Uh, we have to take cuffs off. Yeah. I'm not gonna run. You know how to worry. If you run, I'm gonna catch you. You think I'm worried about a little bit of running? Hundred okay. percent. Hundred and ten percent. Separate your hands from your back for me. I'm not even gonna catch you. <laughs> As long as we make a deal. What's the deal? I can say goodbye if you take me to jail. Well, you're gonna go to jail regardless, but I'll well, still let uh, you say goodbye. Okay, I appreciate it. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I want. Uh, you might hold me. And maybe hit my vape. No, I can't let you okay. hit your vape. Okay, say goodbye. That's all. All right, I'll put your hands behind your back again. I just gave him the other stuff. When they take me to jail, can you let me wear my long sleeve and send my tank top? Uh, I can can't, ask the I can't control that? the jail's policy. That is completely up to them. Cole County? No, we're going to Dallas County. Are Dallas you County is nicer. Me? Really? It is, I swear to God. Are you gonna trip? Wait, you see me? Have a seat. We'll talk in a minute. I got you. Have a seat. He said I was gonna let you call. Have I was a seat. Talk you to you. Get Hold a on. on or anything? Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll wait till he gets his business done before we start moving. Um, yeah, before he goes, I'll let you say something. Um, is he getting taken home? I don't know. what it, They're facilitating a ride for him. I don't know what they're planning. So he's is. going home? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. That's all I want. All right. Um, I'm going to sit up here. I'm going to be typing so we can still talk. All right. And that was from her purse? Yep. Okay. Did we explain right. the sheet to her? The... The property sheet. Nope, I was gonna let you uh, sign it. Oh, perfect. Hey, so this yellow sheet that's gonna be in your property, this is a seized property receipt. Sorry. 
Basically, this outlines what we're taking. It's quite simply the weed that was in your purse. There's instructions on the back on if you want to try to get your weed back when the court case is completed. I've never seen someone do it, but hey, if you want to be the first, go ahead. But you'll be able to read that more in depth once you get released, okay? I'm on probation. Well, I don't know I what your PO's going to do. My PO lets me smoke weed, so. Oh, well, you, it sounds like a cool PO. Yeah. The female was charged with theft, second degree possession of a stolen car, and possession of marijuana. Let's find out what happens when a woman remains entangled in a pattern of mischief after being punished once. I was just trying to make the tickets so high. Both of you had paraphernalia, that's what they locked you up for? Is that what he said? Yeah. yeah. On June 22, 2023, the Westfield Police Department responded to a shoplifting incident involving Lindsay Caverly in New Jersey. Upon arrival, the police were informed that two shoplifters had stolen several items. According to the video footage and the manager's report, the suspect was seen using a reusable bag in her hoodie pocket to conceal the stolen goods. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hey. We just had like two shoplifters take a whole bunch of stuff. Gosh, you got the footage? Uh, yeah. Let's... I have a photo of her. All right. Everything that was seen. All right, was it both of them or just, just her? I saw just her, but she was with someone else who had a whole bunch of bags filled too, and he started running when I told him to come back. Was he inside the store or outside the store? Uh, I believe he was already outside, but they, I guess they met together in Central Ave. Okay, let's go, yeah, let's go take a, a quick look. And you physically saw him or the, uh, saw him? I saw the girl. Okay. So I can't say that he was stealing, but he had a bag full of stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. But I saw the girl taking all the deodorants because I heard the noise. I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, what's on there? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, we got him stopped at the train station. Yeah, for real? Yeah, so. You guys are good. We try. Yeah, you guys have been a hot commodity recently. Yeah, I'm telling you, all the shots are stuffy. That's the girl. All right, let's see. Hey, hey. Yeah, that's her. Delta 3 Central. And I think. I said, that's her coming in. Yeah. Hey. Can I see the guy walks in. I know the guy was waiting for her outside, but definitely the girl, for okay. sure. Because then she comes around here. The case number is 28135. That's her. 28135. Right. She's already taking stuff. Okay. Yeah, you can see she puts it in like a hoodie pouch. Yeah. This is where I heard the commotion. So I kind of walked around and then I saw her emptying out all the deodorants. You see she's putting them in there. Yeah. Right in front of this lady too. Poor thing. Okay. I heard the commotion, that's me. That's when I saw her. And you saw her the putting bag. it in here. Yeah. But I'm like, it's a recycling bag. I can't accuse her until. Yeah. Oh, it's me. You're gonna hate me. I'm gonna I'm on, Dad, just so you know. Huh? I'm on. On what? On. I was out with them and then I was sent up here. Oh. So. She left fairly quickly, but she took a lot of deodorant. That's her walking out. You know? I yeah. mean, she admitted to it before I even I got her name. <laughs> But the guy, I can't say they were together, but I didn't see him steal, so I don't know if Okay, he so didn't. we don't even think he was in the store. He was with her when I got outside. But I didn't see him. Anywhere? I don't see him walking in. I think okay. he waited for her outside or something. Okay, okay. All right, maybe they just her. Yeah. Right, well. But definitely her. I had to come back here anyway today. It oh, didn't God. work from yesterday. No, no, it's all that. You're missing one file. I'll just leave it here. Fine, too. 191 to 190. Can you give me a uh, 21? I didn't even write that up. You want to sit? I stole your seat. I'm no, sorry. Okay. It's been a day. Oh, yeah? No. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, and I'm giving you guys more work. I was like, I really didn't want to call. I told the girl, come back. I was like, 190, back. can you give 191 a call, please? Wait, did you have to see anybody? I'm sorry, I don't know how to record the stuff, though. Can I, I bring it in later? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Okay. I'll just do this. Okay. AJ. So you um, video? doesn't look like he was in the store. Um, yeah, she, she doesn't have any video of him and can't physically place him in the store, but they were together outside. But she's on video coming in. You can see her putting something in her hoodie pocket, and then the top part of her is cut off, but you can see her selecting items and putting them into a bag, which was witnessed by the manager as well, which is on video. They found the um, debris. 
Yeah, it's I saw her that Can you believe people pay two hundred thousand dollars? Quarter million dollars to go. Yeah, like I said, only only her. But uh, the manager said that he had a bag of stuff, but he was outside. So maybe they hit somewhere else before. But yeah, that's what that's what Des is here. He's getting the video. So. All right, I'll, see you I'll see if any of them have a, uh, a victim statement, oh. written victim statement for him to come over. Because I didn't bring one. I'll call him. Okay. All right. You got this? When Lindsay was caught, she admitted to stealing from the store when questioned. During the investigation, the officer discovered a bag full of stolen items. We're not even there yet. Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Lindsay? Okay, yeah. Okay, it was me. I stole deodorant. Okay. Okay. No problem, Lindsay. No worries. No worries. No, Did you want to get Gil's Miranda card? Yeah. Uh, I don't care. If you don't want to answer my question, you don't have to. But I'm going to ask you. Is anybody at Walgreens? No. 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 Did you go in the store? No. No. Abandoned bed, the property in it. Okay. Same as this. What's that? Is anybody asking? No. Did you go before? I'm on my camera. No. Whose sister does all this? Scandal. Is he there? Or no? No, he's doing another one. Detention. Oh. Okay. She just, I just heard her say, okay, I, I just stole the other one. I have nothing to do with it. I don't, I don't know that. That's it. Right. And, uh, yeah. You guys got there yesterday. That guy. Hi. I have not wearing my lens here. I think wife's name, but just double check. No, it's okay. We're not going to get there yet. That's fine with me. Can I just get your name? Lindsay. Give me one second so I can write it down, all right? Lindsay, my name's Chris, okay? okay. How do you spell your first name? S S A Y or S E Y? E Y. Okay. If we're doing all of this now, are you not going to bring me to the station? Uh, we may have to, Why? depending on what Walgreens wants to do. If they want to press charges, then we have to. If they just want their property back, then and we tell you not to go back into the store. We, you know, we give you the advisory about the trespassing and stuff like that. But it's up to Walgreens what they want to do. Okay. What's your last name, Lindsay? Cavity. C A V E R L Y. C A V E R L Y. E R L Y. What's your date of birth, Lindsay? 32398. Where do you live? I'm homeless. Okay, where are you from? I'm a dad's book. Okay, what was your last address? Do you have any ID? You ever have a license before? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's up? You took the other day. I'll take this one. Okay. Split it. No problem. Right below. It all works <laughs> out in the end. It does. <laughs> The other officer, I think he gave you your Miranda rights, but I'm going to as well, just to be on, on the safe side. You have the right to be silent, and you say can we be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney present. If you can't form one, we'll be able to take it too. Yeah. You understand your question? Yeah, yes, right. I do eventually, but I also want someone to come up with a I'll stand by one. Chris. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. Stay there. Come up and grab that. We'll put it over here. That was a pretty special. Okay. Got them. 
don't have a case for that. The case number is 28135. That's 28135. <laughs> Lindsay, was this your bag up there? Okay, everything that's in is yours? Lindsay referred to her paperwork from her recent release from county jail, leading to a thorough questioning. Subsequently, she was searched and detained. Paperwork. Okay. Paperwork from where? Like he said, we just got out of the prison. Both of you? Yeah. Okay. Union County? Yeah. We were just arrested. I was just trying to make it keep that so high. I don't know. Both of you had paraphernalia, that's what they locked you up for? Is that what he said? Yeah. Yeah. They gave you a summons also? Yes. How long were you there? I don't know. Long time or short time? An hour. It's not good. The stuff that's in this bag. Aside from your paperwork, is all from the Walgreens? 191 to 190. Can you give me a 21? There's like a bottle of water. There's 190. No, I want you to give him a 41. I'm not. Is that white? I got it. I got it. Is that white? I got it. 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 Shelter or somebody's place? No. Neither? Right. How old are you? Twenty-five. Where are you from originally? I get it, Jay. We'll just take pic I'll bring it. We'll take some pictures and we'll bring it right back. Come on, take a look. I'm gonna search you, okay? Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke your sticking? I don't think so. You don't think so? No, I don't know. That's gonna stick them right there. No. Right? I just got out of the unit on you, so. Okay. This will be quick. I'm not gonna keep you all night. Touch with the sun, I'm gonna poke it. Alright? You just got out of county? Yeah. So you don't have any warrants or nothing? Mm -hmm. Where are you living? Um, I'm homeless. Where are you staying? In parks. In parks? Where's your shelter? Um, where's this? Just you and him walking around to see him in the morning? Kind of, yeah. Where are you from originally? Mm -hmm. Linda? Yeah, then I went to Cranford High School. Cranford High School? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do my best to not. Mm. Just gonna check the more obvious spots, okay? And then we'll have a thing to check it. Go up and check you down in there, okay? Yeah. Yeah. What did they pick you up? Mm -hmm. On a free? Mm -hmm. Can you back for me, please? How old are you? I'm fine. You have any family still in the area? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> informed the station about the suspect and requested a female officer to be present at headquarters for a thorough search. At the police station, the suspect was questioned as part of the next steps in the process. Transporting one adult female from Southside train station to headquarters, 102-297, 701's following in. If you can have a female officer meet us at headquarters for more thorough search. Uh, Say it again. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
two arriving around back. Mileage one zero two two nine eight. Have a seat on the bench for me, okay? Charged with shoplifting. For more videos about criminals, hit the subscribe button.